First of all, I want to give you some context here, a little bit of an idea as to why we're doing what we're doing, um, tell you what our technology is. I'm going to talk to you about uh, some of the, the pitfalls of technology transfer and uh, how I think I can uh, overcome some of those. Um, uh, moving into the business strategy that, that we're proposing, and I'm going to show you that we can guarantee success. It's impressive, isn't it? There's more in context. I just have to. I've got to be careful with these. Okay, now, as mentioned, I am a Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture Chair and of Lipid Quality and Utilization. That's a chair of fat. So I do research on fat and oils. And uh, just uh, the, I wanted to, to make it very clear, you know, that, that this work comes directly from the university. And what the university is trying to do, it's a very new uh, thing that the university is trying to do, is they're, they're trying to make a clear opportunity so that uh, there's a clear line so that companies can be set up by professors and they can give them, be given the best opportunity for success. And of course, you know, there's some uh, problems with uh, a researcher being given as much money as I've been given to do research, putting together large research groups. We have to always be thinking about conflict of interest. And they're prepared, you know, and, and this is a, a big bold step by the university and the Ministry of Agriculture to accept that we're going to try and get through this and we're going to try and do this so that there's no conflict occurring. But I just want to make sure that, uh, that you know that th this research is, uh, was funded by, um, largely by these organizations. And uh, as I say, I'm the chair of FAT, uh, Saskatchewan Ministry of Agriculture chair, and, and uh, work primarily with oil seeds, not animal fats. And uh, one of the things that, uh, that's been going on as I've been doing research on fats and oils is that uh, it isn't the vegetable oil that's the interesting part. It's the little bits of other things that are in the vegetable oils. It's the, the other products. So as, as I'm going through and looking for things, the vegetable oil is a commodity. It's the other things where the value is, and, and we're going to talk about one of those other things that we've uh, discovered. And one of the crops that I'm uh, responsible for looking after and trying to find new utilization for it is a very oil or fat-rich crop is uh, flax, or linum usitidissimum. And uh, it's a very beautiful plant. Uh, it uh, has uh, beautiful seeds. It comes in all sorts of lovely colors. And uh, there's all sorts of chemistry associated with this plant. So just as you can see, differences in colors of the, these uh, things, there's a lot of chemistry differences at the level of, of uh, materials within the uh, flax seed. We know it as, uh, as, as it grows out in the field. Uh, you can see it when it's pretty and in flower. And you can also see it uh, at the end of its, uh, of its growth cycle when it's producing seed. And it's a, it's a wonderful thing to behold. And Canada produces huge amounts of this. This is global production. Of, uh, of flax, the, the, the major producers showing Canada in the lead of flax production over the last uh, um, few decades and uh, uh, showing that India and China are the next uh, two major producers of, uh, of flaxseed. In Canada, who's the big pr producer of flaxseed? Us, here. And as the SAS Ministry of Agriculture Chair, it does, um, it does my, uh, uh, the agency a lot of good to see that you were working on this. Because if you look at it, um, the production from Manitoba and Alberta is, is uh, significantly smaller than what's going on in, in Saskatchewan. So we're, we're right in the prime place in the world. The, the, the highest production by country, highest production by province in the country, and by a very wide margin. So as